Welcome everyone to the Side Draft Podcast and today yet another episode of Side Draft Fast Picks. Hope you enjoyed the videos throughout the week. We had a body armor video and also why fans love Bubba Wallace. So we're back here with uh, your regular scheduled uh, racing videos. Yes. Uh, so in, in this series we like to try to predict the winners of the week. This week we're going into the All-Star Race also. The Truck Series race, back to another mile and a half. Yeah, the Trucks at Charlotte. Uh, it's always exciting to see them there. And Kyle Busch is in this race for the Trucks, so keep that in mind when making your picks for this race. And the All-Star Race is always a fun event to to be a part of. It's going to be our first time attending this event as well. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why we had not been to it. been to Charlotte <laughs> a lot of times for the 600, but uh, actually it's the first time we've been We'll go to the All Star Race, and as soon as we start going to it, we hear talks that they're going to move it to to Nashville or somewhere. Don't move uh, it. Don't move it. We want to at least have a, a few few years going there. But it's, uh, it's always exciting. It's always exciting uh, when they have the All Star and then the Six Hundred. You got two full weeks uh, with the NASCAR drivers. They they got a lot of appearances close to Charlotte and, and around the area, and it's always an exciting time. All right, so last week at Kansas, uh, you know, we're going to review how we did last week on on fast picks, and just a fair warning, we did not do good. Like it, it was, it was a tough week for us. I come close in the trucks. I finished. Uh, I picked Ben Rose, and he finished second. Uh, and uh, I was three laps short. I picked Stuart Friesen. I thought it was going to be the day. Finally, all the bad luck is over. He wins. No, it did not happen. Ran out of fuel. Yeah, he dominated the race, but at the end, just uh, ran a little short on fuel. Yeah, just some sort of miscommunication on pit road. They have to figure out pit road on the final pit stop. They need to let all the nerves, you know, just you know, just do it like a normal pit stop. Yeah, and, and no miscommunications. Uh, that time it was driver error. Unfortunately, driver yeah. and crew chief error, I would say. Not enough communication. But that is something that they can work on. And as they go to Charlotte, uh, they could win their first there, but they're going to have to beat Kyle Busch. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Busch is always tough in the trucks. Uh, only person who really beats Kyle Busch is Kyle Busch. Uh, whether it's a tire issue or something on pit road or something. So the key this week is... Be the best that's not Kyle Busch. Or, you know, if you can beat him, beat him. Show him why you're here, why you think, why why you deserve a ride in the truck series and yeah. possibly go on to the Xfinity the next year. And, yeah, that's pretty much the key to this week for the trucks. Yeah. And then for for the Cup Series, you know, we, we didn't really show up, I would say. Unfortunately, no, I didn't do too well. Uh, I picked the wrong. As always, when I pick a Penske driver, I picked the wrong one. And yeah, but uh, I picked Blaney, and he really couldn't get the handle on his car. But Brad ends up winning. I picked Kyle Larson. I believe it's the first time picking Larson all season. Uh, after seeing his speed at Dover, I thought, you know, Larson's back with the speed of Kurt Busch. The speed that Larson had in Atlanta earlier in the in the season, I thought he's there. He's going to win it. It's possible. And then uh, still a top ten, still a good finish, but just not the win I wanted. Uh, currently, uh, you have three wins of the season. I have five, so it's starting to heat up a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting kitchen up a little bit. So we'll, we'll see what we happen this weekend. All right, so now it's time for our official picks for uh, the All Star Weekend and, and also. Uh, the Truck Series race. So first up, of course, the Truck Series. The Truck Series. And who do I think is going to beat Kyle Busch? I believe it's going to be Brett Moffitt. Wow. See, so I, I, I agree with that pick. I think he's <laughs> one of those that, that could compete with Kyle Busch and possibly beat him. I believe as a few weeks ago, Brett Moffitt was in position to win, just could not get around Kyle Busch at the end. Could see something like that again. Mm-hmm. As for me, I would say Stuart Friesen, but I'm not Todd Bodine <laughs> because he picks him every week as well. Uh, but um, 
I, I would love to see Frieza win, but with the rules that I've made for the series, I can't pick back the back drivers uh, because you don't want it to be where I pick my favorite driver all the way through yeah. <laughs> uh, the season. So I got to hand it to Kyle Busch for this week. Uh, go ahead and tally a number six for me. <laughs> <laughs> Six wins, because, you know, it's going to be tough to beat Kyle Busch, but whoever can. You really thought hard and long about that, didn't you? <laughs> All I did was, I saw Kyle Busch's name, I was like, that's the guy I want. That's the guy I want to pick. Uh, you know, it would be cool to see one of these guys defeat him, but I just don't think it's going to happen, especially at Charlotte, where he's been so dominant in the truck series. So... I think Kyle Busch is still going to get the upper hand on these guys. Okay. We'll see if he has some little bad luck and then maybe something else happens. Why do you not like me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before we get into a heated argument about Kyle <laughs> Busch, uh, the All-Star Race. It's a special event. I believe it's 85 laps. All for a million dollars. There's no points on the line that I know of. So... It's all for the money this week. Yeah, I wonder if we we picked the right winner. Will we win any money? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm pretty sure if if we could say that we gave them good luck, we we were the reason they might give us a ten dollar gift card to Walmart or something. I don't know. I doubt it. It's Probably a, not. Five. We'll, we'll be lucky to get a thank you on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. While you sit there, poor on a podcast couch, <laughs> I'll, I'll go shop at Walmart with a million dollars. Anyway, picks to win the all-star race, picks to win the lottery. We're essentially just watching someone win the lottery. Well, I want to pick maybe a favorite of, I'm going with the Chevrolet driver of, uh, Jimmy Johnson. I think Jimmy uh-huh. Johnson is going to come back and and take over back the Charlotte, which is should be Jimmy's house. Take him back to the throne, Jimmy Johnson, twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah um, which it would be kind of funny because he he did win the Clash earlier in the year, and then he wins the All Star Race. None of those really matter. Matter, <laughs> and, you know, that would probably be insult to injury. But at least you have a million dollars. <laughs> give you some momentum. Yeah, going into there's that the six hundred. So uh, he did finish. Real well in Kansas, and I believe uh, Hendricks is starting to come on strong now. So yeah, it's possible. I think that Team Hendrick and, and Stuart Haas Racing is starting to become, you know, the the next Gibbs and Penske. Uh, Penske is still there, I think, with yes. Brad winning uh, the race uh, at Kansas. Uh, but Brad Kozlowski's never won the All Star race, and I think that is going to change. Brad Kozlowski will win the million dollars. He's wow. going, he's going to take it from Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> yeah, wave the flag too. Yeah, yeah, so that'd be pretty pretty <laughs> awesome. So that'd be pretty cool. All star, you know, get get the flag. So we'll see. Yeah, we got all the stars, all fifty of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so that was our picks for this week, and I, I would say we'd pick all the winners for the open, but man, that's. Around four different people would be here all night. Yeah, it's kind of tough. We've been voting. Uh, I've been trying to get Daniel Hammer voted in. Uh, it don't look too good for him, but I'll keep trying. We want to see that backflip so bad. So bad. I want to. But uh, luckily for us, we don't have to do it. But. Yeah, because it's been so long since Carl Edwards been in there, did the backflip. We want to see another driver start doing the backflip. Okay, so since we're not going to pick the open winners, who do you think is going to get voted into this race? Well, right now I believe Bowman might be leading uh, leading the votes. Uh, Matt Benedetto was leading a little, little bit. And I don't know. Um, I'll be a bit between them two. Yeah, I think uh, De Benedetto is probably going to win the fan vote just because I think Bowman and Larson, who are currently in front of them, I think they are capable of winning races. So, if if Benedetto is still third, he's going to really be rooting for those two to win 
the Open. Yeah. But he also could win himself. That'd be pretty awesome to see that team um, win a race in the Open. Yeah, he's doing real strong in the 95 team. Uh, he has a little bad luck at Kansas and uh, lost a motor, so uh, maybe he could win over. All right, so let's see how our picks will fare out this weekend. Uh, we'll be uh, doing our race reviews. Not sure how it's all going to fall since we're going to be at the racetrack. Uh, eventually, you'll see our race reviews on this channel. We hope you enjoy them, and we'll be back on Side Drive Fast Picks for the 600 to see who can win the Xfinity and the, and the Cup race. So we'll see you then.